Air or liquid cooling? Which one's best for your PC? Let's find out. Air cooling uses a big heat sink and fans to pull away heat from your CPU. It's simple, effective, and has been around forever. Let's talk about some pros when it comes to air coolers. First of all, they're cheaper. You can get solid performance for around 20 bucks. They can also be easier to install. Rather than having to mount a pump and radiator and worry about the tubes, they have less parts, so just mount and go. Finally, they have a longer lifespan. No moving parts except for the fan, which means a less failure risk. Now the risk about air coolers is that sometimes they're bulky. Some models block RAM slots or look huge in small cases. Also, some large air coolers can be extremely heavy, putting stress on the motherboard over time. Now, let's see what liquid cooling has to offer. First, let's talk about the pros when using a liquid cooler. Liquid coolers can have better temps in your typical shorter workloads because the liquid has more surface area, helping keep high performance CPUs cool. They also help with spacing. They're less bulky than air coolers, leaving room for RAM and aesthetics. Finally, with a top-mounted radiator, hot air is exhausted more efficiently, reducing the overall internal temperatures of the case. Now let's see what the cons are to liquid cooling. Liquid coolers typically last to three to seven years, whereas high-quality air coolers can last 10 plus years with only a fan replacement. They also have potential leaks. It's rare, but it happens. Rip components. Also, over time, AIOs can develop air bubbles or minor fluid loss, reducing efficiency. So which cooling do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's see what the big difference is between 